Hello, this is Sarah. This video is going to be about toys for girls from the age of 4 to the age of 5. Now maybe it's pretty late, so I'm going to rely a lot on the links. I'm going to give you straight links to Amazon uh, if you want to get the same toys that I'm talking about. And also I'm going to go from the lowest price to the higher price and I have some categories. First of all, if at the age of 4, kids, so in my, in my, in my experience, love to read and now they can follow very long stories. There's a perfect moment to introduce a book that is longer and has a wonderful story. I thought of three that are wonderful. One is The Adventures of Nils. There is a cartoon Nils Holgersson as well and you can do both. You can either watch the cartoon with your child or uh, buy the book. The only downside for this book was that it, I didn't see pictures in the book and I think it's still important to have some pictures as they rely a lot on illustrations as well. The other book which I'm going to suggest is Pippi Long Stockings or Long Stockings? Pippi? We call it Pippi Calzilunga in Italian. It's a lovely story, you might have seen the movie but your kid doesn't so it would be a great read I think for them. The third is Heidi. Heidi is a little girl at the age four or five. She goes to live with her grandpa in a Swiss chalet. It's just a beautiful story. I always like to have some sort of educative toy for my daughter. They usually are not that expensive. Kids at this age like social games as well, so memory is perfect. A memory with 40 pieces, a big memory. It's a good one. But there is a new game called Spotted and we have the added version. I saw that they have also an alphabet version which I thought it was kind of neat because the game consists of being quick at uh, finding which uh, say you have a letter in one, in one uh, card, which letter in the other card match with that card. So your child has not only to be quick to see that but also quick to recognize the letters. It has the double kind of purpose in this and I think it can be very stimulating for them because if you challenge them like that they will learn the letters more quickly. So there is this alphabet puzzle from Melissa I see my daughter a lot thinking about what letters are in a word and this game is exactly about that. It's about thinking about the first letter of a word and matching it with a letter. So it's advanced enough for four to five years old and I think it's now is the right age to have this this toy with them so I wouldn't have introduced this earlier because it would have been too early. Regarding dolls there are many now by the age of four or five year the, the girls little girls have many dolls I would say. So one thing that I thought that might be useful if they don't have it is Polly Pocket. They are very nice because they are this small dolls that you can bring with you in restaurants and in travels and because they're light and small and they have clothing that you can remove and change and and this is why I think they are kind of very nice ones and they entertain my daughter a lot so they might entertain your child too. I think they are pretty good. The only thing is the clothing sometimes breaks because it's plastic but you renew them because they are cheap. Typical. And there is a set with three dolls which we bought once and it's pretty cool because it has several clothing and several shoes and things so your child can play a lot. Another thing that we discovered recently are Flipsis. Flipsis is this notion of dolls and that you can change, you can change their hair, you can change their clothing which is nice. But they have also like this scenery or this house or some setting. They have like a metallic a pin where you, if you place them they can say things. We purchased one recently, it's Dr. Karina and it seemed exactly made for this age so this is why I am suggesting it. And they have a variety of toys from the smallest one being very on the cheap side and then they are bigger settings where, where it becomes more pricey. So Digibirds is something that we discovered quite recently as well. Um, it's this uh, bird who sings and does many melodies at random. And it makes bird sounds and it, it mimics a bit the real bird. So when you have many they can uh, sing with one another and sing together. My daughter seems to like them a lot. We have a family of three birds. 
and she loves the seeds. They are in the cage, she takes care of them. They have a whistle, when you whistle, they start singing. It, they're nice, the nice toy, and it's a nice press. I found this click brick, which seem very interesting because they are like, like a Lego, but they have holes so that you can build in any direction. And they were colorful, they're in plastic. But uh, what they said is that what you create is very st steady, it doesn't break, so your child can play longer. I wanted to mention these uh, colors that are amazing. We had a set, uh, is their Swiss made. They're called Karandash, I think, I'll place it here. This like aquarelly thing where you draw and then you go with a brush and a water and they turn into amazing paintings. So have a look at that. I think they're amazing. We had this for Emilia's birthday and we have been using them and loving them so far. And of course you can uh, give it with a coloring book and at this stage they love color to color so it's a perfect present. On the more expensive side of the toys, I would choose something Playmobil for now because doll houses we have them. What I'm gonna suggest to you is the Playmobil pet clinic I think it's called. It's like a house, a little one, and it has the doctor and little animals and it's very nice for girls that like animals. Another thing that we don't own but I thought is nice is the Cantalot Castle. If uh, you have little girls that love uh, My Little Pony, they will love the Cantalot Castle. And this is the case of my daughter, she would love that. But I'm not gonna give that because she chose her present. And it's Star Lily. It's a unicorn, it's a robot. It's beautifully made, it's uh, white which is gonna get dirty very soon. It's a pricey one, yeah, but it's kind of a soft uh, unicorn that you can caress. They react to that and uh, they, when they are hungry, you can feed them. And also there is an app that goes with it where, where your child and the unicorn can play together, whereby your child interacts with the app, but then uh, there is a time to do a magic. The unicorn will do it and they have to, I don't know, do something to the unicorn so that the magic happens in the app which I thought is kind of nice and cool, but Emilia thought was super duper amazing. This is what she has been asking Santa for, and this is what she's gonna get. This is all for me, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll talk to you soon, bye bye. All sorts of links are in the description box below. See you soon, ciao! And we have Emilia in there.